see the opportunity in the challenge rather than the challenge in the opportunity. I want to talk about how to change what the world views as threats and turn them into your golden opportunities. You know, a good friend of mine, Richard Rossi, says that when there's anxiety in the world, that spells opportunity. One of my favorite stories to illustrate this is that of the Malibu rock. Back in 1977, a young Australian artist immigrated here to America, the land of opportunity, and he's trying to eke out a living as an artist, which is tough to do. He was watching on his black and white TV in his little humble Los Angeles apartment. This story that kept emerging, it became the number one story on the news for three weeks about a man who had built this beautiful beach house uh, on Malibu Beach, and above him in the cliffs, there was this big rock protruding. And so he wanted the state of California to move it. And so he got all of his neighbors together and they were going to file a lawsuit to force California to move this rock. He thought it would be a a threat that an earthquake would break that loose and come down and do damage, maybe kill somebody. Finally, they succeeded and coerced the state of California to move this rock. Brett Livingston Strong saw the opportunity here. He went down to witness this thing and Caltran, who worked all morning with dozers and choppers to remove this rock, finally broke it loose early in the afternoon, the rock got away from them. And it rolled and landed smack dab in the middle of U.S. Pacific Coastal Highway 1. Well, there's the state engineer, and he's got a 116-ton rock blocking traffic uh, both directions. Brett Livingston Strong walks up and says, sir, I would like to buy that rock. He says, you can have it. He said, no, I'd like to be the rightful owner. He says, what have you got on? He said, a hundred bucks. In fact, I think he only pulled out a dollar and promised the rest of it. He says, buddy, it's your rock, you move it. Brett Livingston Strong went down to a shopping center and convinced the, the mall management that if they would pay for a crane and a chopper to move this rock, he would lease it to them for six months in the center court of their mall while he went to work on it with a hammer and a chisel. It was a great advertising uh, campaign. Business was brisk. The publicity is already done. So he works on this rock and six months later is ready to unveil what he had been working on. Gets a man out of an Orange County hospital dying of cancer in a wheelchair to come and witness this. He pulls the canvas off the rock and there was the image of John Wayne, the Western cowboy movie star. The man in the wheelchair was John Wayne three weeks before he died of cancer. He leaned back in that wheelchair and said, I like it. Brett Livingston Strong sold the Malibu rock for $1.1 million and his career went through the roof. This is the best way to illustrate that whenever you see a, a challenge, it's really an opportunity. That whenever you have a threat, the geologist said it was never a threat. Two thirds of that rock was embedded so far back in the mountainside, it wouldn't have been any danger to anyone. So learn to always see the opportunities in every challenge rather than the challenge and the opportunity, and do what Brett Livingston Strong did create an incredible career out of one bad experience.